A case about racial profiling, community struggles, and redemption was the feature of this past weekend's Chol Su Lee Symposium entitled Justice on Trial, The Battle to Free Chol Su Lee, hosted by the KW Lee Center for Leadership and the UCLA School of Law Critical Race Studies. The event was held in honor of a Korean immigrant, Chol Su Lee, who was wrongfully imprisoned for murder and was placed on death row for nearly 10 years. I think that the case of having a Korean immigrant who is wrongly convicted, um, freed not only by a broad community movement, but by the use of that same legal system to uh, bring justice in the way that most Americans think the justice system is supposed to work. This historic symposium reunited members of the legal defense team and K.W. Lee, the investigative journalist whose relentless efforts enabled Chol Su Lee's release from prison in 1983. Rallying volunteers from Los Angeles to New York, the Chol Su Lee trial also generated one of the first national pan-Asian American community organizing movements in the 1970s. Joined together to prove his innocence, the community struggle played a significant role in attracting media attention and public support. The symposium attracted numerous members of the Asian American community and demonstrated how even after many decades, Chol Su Lee's case is still significant and relevant today. My hope is that the community and also the young folks that are able to come here today, especially at UCLA, that they'll get inspired by this and be go out there and work, in, work passionately for the community and right wrongs that, have, that, we, that, that they see out there. Showing his gratitude to the people who helped give him a second chance at life, Chol Su Lee's final message to the audience was, That's my say, power to the people! <laughs> After more than 20 years since his release, the Chol Su Lee Symposium stands as a reminder of how this landmark legal battle about a victim of racial profiling can still inspire communities to unite and fight for justice. This is Yvonne Liao reporting for Daily Bruin Television.